In this episode, we're going to be talking about some of the stock options and other investments I've been making since the pandemic began. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Jeremy Carson Show, where every episode we talk about entrepreneurship, investing, online business, and personal growth. It has been quite a while since I uploaded a new video. A lot of you are probably wondering where in the heck did I go? And I've just been kind of laying low, not really uh, you know, making myself too um, out there and exposed during this pandemic time. But, um, and that's not to say when I say exposed, I don't mean by not going outside. I've been going outside a lot, my bad, sorry. I'm not one of these people that's gonna cover their face and uh, live in fear my entire life. That's just not how I roll. So if you're mad about that, sorry, leave your comments down below. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about what I said we were gonna be talking about, which was the investments and uh, the different stocks that I've been buying since the pandemic began. So the first one that uh, let's take a look at is gonna be Invesco Mortgage Capital. Um, Invesco Mortgage Capital is it says here on Robinhood that um, they're a holding company which engages in investing, financing, and managing residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans. Now I know right now that the mortgage industry is going through quite the whirlwind of uh, change and uh, things like that. And when this market originally uh, kind of crashed, the stock was sitting around 17, 18, almost $19 a share. And when it came down, they went to a low of about, let's see, right around, oh yeah, it was just under a dollar. Oh, I'm sorry, just under $2. Around that time uh, is when I started acquiring a bunch of shares. I bought um, a total, you know, on, on, I guess it was three different instances. I bought a total of 139 shares. My average cost was $2.91 a share. And already it's at uh, 4.17 a share at the uh, close of today, being uh, today's uh, June 23rd. So my total return so far, you know, I'm up 43%. I was up 100%, uh, I think 108% maybe about a week or two ago. But uh, you know, we have since then come down from that peak on June 8th. I think we're gonna come up a whole lot more. You know, the entire um, intention behind this was to wait for this to get back up to at least around $15 a share when I'd probably be 6xing, 7, you know, xing my money. Um, so that's the plan. Hopefully that works out. Just one of the ones that uh, you could probably still get in on early, you know? I guess now it's still early, it's still very low. If you think that this company um, could come back check it out. I'm, you know, I'm not here to give you financial advice, but just something I'm doing. Another one, ACB. I know this company lately is not looking good. I probably should just sell at this point. Um, I had acquired shares years, I say years, a while back, way back. Must have been late 2018 or something. I bought some and uh, it went up, it peaked pretty good. I held on to it, it went down, and then it's continued to go down most of the time that I've hold, held this stock. But when it got dirt cheap, when it was, you know, before they did that uh, split sale, the one for 12 split about a, two months ago, before that happened, uh, I guess it was about a month ago, uh, but before that happened, I had, um, well, what was I saying? Oh, that, um, you know, I had acquired a whole bunch more. I, I bought a whole bunch of shares when it was at 66 cents uh, or 60 cents. Um, and then they did the split share and, and all that stuff. So, but I'm still total now, I'm down 6%. I was up on the total return on this one, a little bit over, uh, it wasn't very high. I was maybe, I was maybe up five, five or 10% tops to best. And then I've gone back down. Um, you know since then and uh so i don't know you know we'll see where that one goes again i'm a little bit less positive on that because aurora has just been run pretty bad 
uh, historically speaking, unfortunately. Another one that, uh, or another investment that I've been making, um, despite not having a whole lot of income right now, because, oh, by the way, I, you know, I uh, lost my full-time income, my day job, back in early May. I was laid off from a home builder, so that sucks. But I've been buying uh, plenty of uh, Bitcoin, and, uh, and that's been good. So, you know, I started buying again when we were still, I think, around 7,400. Same kind of entry point I get in, got in last time, back in 2007. But i um, been buying about $100 a week for about two months now. Uh, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit less. But, you know, we're sitting, last time I checked uh, the price of uh, Bitcoin, we were, what, like 9,300? So, um, let's see what... It is now. Right now it's at 96.61. So it's been good. I'm going to continue to buy in. Um, I think this is going to be really worthwhile here in the next couple of months. Maybe even about a year, 12 months out. I think this is going to be a really great decision. I'm going to be glad that I've been putting in $100 a week uh, there. So, and I don't know that I'll sell then. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to keep on buying. Hopefully by then I've got more of a stable you know, uh, income going, so I won't need to sell or anything like that. But that's really about it. Um, I did some, uh, I was I was shorting some things at the beginning of this pandemic as stocks were coming down. I was shorting like Snapchat and stuff, just cheap stocks to, um, you know, cap, to, you know, to, to yeah, capitalize on that, on that downtrend. But, you know, that's over and I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to go down again or not like that, especially not that fast. So shorting to me is a little risky right now. I almost just bank on Trump and the feds um, and Powell and all them continuing to pump this market through quantitative, you know, easing and stimulus and all this other kind of stuff that they're doing right now. So, I mean, they're, they're printing money like it's going out of style. So I don't know if betting on the downfall of this stock market anytime soon is going to be the best idea, but um, I hope, I hope that this video helped. Maybe it shared some, some light on some different things that you can take a look at. Like I said, ACB is probably not the best one in the cannabis sector, but other companies right now are doing pretty good in this sector. I mean, I'm still I'm still up, you know, in the past three months on this one, 61%. So it's not like I've had a bad return um, on this. Um, but, you know, it's up to you take a look into it. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything or any comments. Maybe you want to see something else. Maybe you want to touch on a different topic as far as the stock market goes and things. I'm going to be doing some other videos on the stock market regarding different sectors, right? Different industries. So be on the lookout for those. Make sure you have the notification bell on so you can be notified when we publish those uh, videos. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. And until the next video, guys, take care.